The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad Crew. Welcome, folks. We are the Bob and Brad Crew. I'm Mike. I'm Eric. And together we're making videos on how to stay healthy, fit, and increase your overall well-being. In our unbiased opinion, of course. I forgot in half the other videos, but Alex is still off. He's helping his wife after she just had surgery, oh. and they're doing good. So Eric is here filling in. Today's video, a different style of massage, the Sidekick Echo Massage Reliever. This is not a throwing star. No, don't throw it. It actually is fairly hardy, and that will <laughs> it's, probably it's pretty heavy, hurt yeah. you significantly it's if you do. It's not sharp, but uh, so the price... Ugh. which I don't like, <laughs> is $135 for That's... this box, this lubricating spray, and this Ninja Star. It's a kick in the pills, for sure. Is that why they call it Sidekick? Uh, it must be. Maybe. <laughs> uh, the selling point, how do you say that? Gasha? Gasha. Gasha. Uh, it's a 2,000-year-old Eastern medicine practice. Um, they basically use these scrapers to release adhesions underneath that cause pain. So basically, it's like a superficial massage. Yeah. So you rub an area. Um, Eric will kind of demonstrate it later. He actually has a this brand with a different... Yeah, I have the stone version. It's called the Curve. This is the Echo. Uh, the Curve is considered kind of more of the entry level, and the Echo is kind of one step up from the Curve. It's made of stainless steel. Yep. Um, the rating on their own website, they do not sell this on Amazon, is 4.9 out of 5. It's at 105 reviews. I don't always like reviews from the actual product site because they're typically... Pretty biased. Yeah, pretty yeah, biased. It, I like neutral ones, but that's all I could really find on it. Um, some of the negatives that I would definitely say is the price. Yeah. Uh, it's a chunk of metal. I understand it's high quality. This is grippy. You can grip it. Uh, it does come with the lubricating spray to spray on an area that you want to massage. Um, but honestly, I found other metal scrapers on Amazon of different brands for like 20 to $30. Yeah. So if you're not sure if you like this, I would not buy this one right away. Um, like Eric was saying, a lot of chiropractors use this. Some yep. physical therapists do use it. Um, if you go to them, you could ask about it first before you'd buy one, or you can buy the cheaper brand before you'd invest $135 into this. Right. Um, they do have a study on their site. I thought the study was very misleading. I'm not going to go into depth of it. They compared the pain relief effects of this compared to heat. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I'm like, why don't you compare it to a massage? Yeah, it's not really... Uh, it's, it's a selling point, Yeah. essentially. Yeah. I, it's a marketing study. Yeah, essentially. Um, I would honestly... You can buy a good massage gun for this price. <laughs> yeah. Which I would find more versatile. Massage guns can get way deeper into your muscles. They're more convenient to use versus getting myself off all the sticky spray and rubbing it down. Yep. Personally, I will show there's a couple areas I think this works well. Eric knows more areas, and we'll demonstrate that at the end if you want to watch the whole thing. But I would say for the price, yeah, that's the that's my biggest problem. If this thing was like under fifty bucks. I'd probably be more positive about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I'm not into spending one hundred thirty five yeah. dollars on a Ninja Star here. I I think that for me buying the Curve, the the entry level one was even a little bit. I'm not sure. I don't remember what the price was at for that. I think like ninety bucks was the price for that one. And yeah, the the having to get cleaned off after the lubricating spray and everything. That makes it kind of cumbersome, too, because you yeah. can't just do it in the middle of the day, like right after your workout, and, yeah. or, or that's when you'd have to do it, you know, if you're going to jump in the shower or something, because it's really sticky. So some of the positives um, from this is it does work certain areas well. I think if you have lateral epicondylitis, um, tennis elbow, or if you have golfer's elbow, it can really dig into the tendons well, I feel yeah. like, in your forearm. I don't have the spray on right now, so it's a little harder to move, but I feel like it can really dig in there. Another really good area, um, I would say, is the Achilles tendon. Do you want to stand up once? Sure. Do you have enough motion? Yeah, I can do that. Face that way. Face that way. Put your hands behind your head, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Right. So the Achilles tendon, if I'm in here, I mean, you can really get in there. You can really dig on the sides. Um, the purpose of this is, is you create a lot of friction on the muscle or the tendon area. And you're actually going to be really red and probably bruised the next day because you're working out those adhesions and you're really digging in there. So just a warning, you're going to look like 
your wife beats you up with your girlfriend. Dude. Yeah, yeah. You, you end up, and it and it does. It feels similar to a bruise for a day or two after you, uh, you know, administer the therapy method to the area. Yeah. So. The, the point is, you're putting the area under stress. Right. Um, when you're stressing it like that, it's kind of like massage, and you're going to bring blood flow to the area. When you have trauma, blood flow goes to the area. Same as a bruise, blood flow goes to the area. Right. Uh, your blood flow carries all your nutrients in your body and helps heal. So that's the purpose of this type of massage. Um, I would say it's it, it can't get as deep as normal massage. No. That's, it's more meant to work your fascia, actually, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's supposed to be um, almost an accompaniment to foam rolling, to other, uh, you know, self-muscular yeah, release. It's a, more of an Eastern yeah. traditional medicine yeah. type yeah. thing compared to, you know, more Western medicine. Um but overall, I, it's it's not a bad concept. I just really don't like the price. Right. I would not recommend this to someone that wants to buy it. I would recommend trying a cheaper one. If you really like it, uh, you can buy this. I would actually rather spend it on a massage gun, but that's just me. You have one. I have one. And you like it and your girlfriend likes it. You, right, yeah. I, I, I'm working on understanding the technique a little bit better just because of my own curiosities. And uh, I like finding new ways to recover, different ways to recover. And I've got um, uh, quite a bit of experience utilizing this this type of tool now, and I've found it useful in certain settings, and in other certain in other settings, not so much. But I think that for those who are um, looking to experiment with different types of recovery methods, or maybe try to find what works best for them, uh, this could be an interesting uh, adventure if you have the exp the uh, income to <laughs> uh, <laughs> drop 135 bucks on a piece of stainless steel. So yeah, basically. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Please like, share, subscribe, leave any comments. Uh, I'll put a link down below for the website for this if you're really interested in one. I also put a cheaper one on Amazon that I would recommend and the massage gun I would recommend. So, yeah. you have any last words? Uh, I do, actually. I oh. think that, that, that this brand and this approach to this tool is actually meant more for... Uh, athletes and professionals who are looking to uh, recover, or maybe it's a, a physical therapist or a chiropractor who... Yeah, a, a lot of reviews I saw were actually chiropractors. Yeah, yeah. So this this particular product is, I think, targeted towards more professionals. Yeah. So that, that kind of explains the price if, point a little bit or more. Or even athletic trainers. Yeah. Like if you're yeah. using this all day, every day, right. I would see investing in a good one. Yes. But for the basic person at home, I would not. So. Correct. But Yeah, no good point. Yeah, last, last word. It's the best thing you said all day. It might be. Wow, <laughs> you're kind of smart. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks. The Bob and Brad Crew The Bob and Brad Crew The Bob and Brad